All right, I'm going to use the Mobi to solve this problem. And I couldn't figure out how to use Jing instead of Jing. So before I did this, I captured this screen using Jing and I placed it over here on my whiteboard. You can see I have two programs open. I've got my whiteboard here and then back behind it, I have my math lab here with the problem on it and I have opened up that so I can see it better. And the question is to find the domain and then they're going to ask me for the range. So I copied this and pasted it over here. So this is just a little pasted object right there. All right, now I've got it on the first layer here so that I can draw on top of it. Ooh, and it didn't paste very well. Let's see if I, there we go. If I make it bigger, it pastes better. All right, so I am going to add a layer so that I can draw on top of it and move it around. I'm going to take my pen and we're going to talk about the domain here. Because the first question is the domain. Now domain, we're looking at the x values. We're looking at how far the graph goes left and how far the graph goes to the right. And if you look at this, this graph goes forever both to the left and to the right. So that would give me a domain, if you look at interval notation, of all real numbers. Forever left, forever right. I believe the question says use R. So we were go we're going to have to type R. So if I go back over here and I use my keyboard here, I can say it's it's R and I can check my answer. So now they want the range, which I'm looking up and down. So I go back over here to my whiteboard and I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to turn off the layer that had my domain on it. So now I'm just looking at a blank layer here. And I'm going to say, okay, now range is, let's change colors, so I'm in a new color here. So range is how far down this graph goes and how far up the graph goes. Oops, yellow doesn't show up. So how far down the graph goes and how far up the graph goes. So if you look, this graph only goes down as far as here, so that's as far down as it goes, which would be negative, positive 3. But then if you look here, the graph goes up forever. So my graph, and you always read lowest to biggest if you're doing interval notation. So I'll start with interval notation. Again, my, my range is up and down, so it will start here and go up forever. So. Again, the lowest it goes is 3, and it goes up forever. But they want this to be in set builder notation. So therefore, I need to use the letter Y and say what kind of values Y can be. Y is bigger than equal to 3 at all times. So i got to put that back in over here. I'm gonna click in here, and I'm going to use my keyboard here. So Y is, and then to get my symbols, of my little symbols here. It's bigger than or equal to 3, which is my answer, and we're good.